we have made our way back up here to our spot in Windsor. So why did Harry and Meghan choose this place for their engagement announcement and tomorrow's ceremony? Our colleague Wilfred Frost, the anchor of CNBC's Closing Bell, went to school with both Princess Harry and William and his father, British broadcasting legend Sir David Frost, was good friends with Harry's parents. So Wilfred, this beautiful <laughs> place obviously means a lot yeah. to the groom. It does indeed, and uh, I'm sure they picked Windsor for lots of reason, but one of them has something to do with where Harry went to school. Windsor Castle and the surrounding Great Park has become a special place for Harry and Meghan, but it has always been a special place for Harry. He often came to the castle as a child, but in fact spent even more time here, just a two-minute walk away in the picturesque town of Eton. It's a quieter place than Windsor. There are a few shops, a post office, and the most famous school in England, Eton College. Founded in 1440 by King Henry VI, Eton has an impressive list of graduates, including 19 British prime ministers, James Bond author Ian Fleming, and actors Damien Lewis, Hugh Laurie, and Eddie Redmayne. And it's where the princes, William and Harry, spent their high school years. September 1998, Harry's first day at Eton, and dressed, like all boys here, in a tailcoat, waistcoat and school tie, a tradition that goes back to the early 1800s when it was first introduced out of respect for King George III after his death. It has stuck ever since. There are 25 houses at Eton, like this one, Manor House, which Charles and Diana picked for William and Harry. Your house is not only where you sleep and eat, but also where you make your closest mm. friends. This fairly secluded and unique place meant that Harry was able to lead a pretty normal life for his five years at Eton. There was a series of wonderful pictures where you could see Prince Harry sitting at his desk and, and on the desk you can see that picture of his mother, Princess Diana, but you can see his hi-fi. You know, he had wall art hanging up, so it really painted quite an intimate portrait of the schoolboy prince. And what jumped out, I think, to everybody was just how normal Harry looked. During his time at Eton, Harry demonstrated talent as an artist, but it was in sport where he excelled, in rugby, soccer, on Eton's vast lake rowing, and Harry was particularly good at this. Shoving, pushing and pressure are allowed, but stabbing, beheading and strangulation are out. Another infamous Eton tradition, the wall game, which is played only here. The students scramble up here, to the top of the wall, in order to watch. That's despite the fact that in the most important game of the year, there hasn't been a goal for 108 years, which might explain why nobody else in the world wants to bother playing. But Harry's real passion was the combined cadet force, which provides boys with military skills. He won the prestigious Parade Commander Award, which set him up for what he did soon after he left Eton. He became a soldier and served in Afghanistan. But it was his five years here in Eton that really made Harry fall in love with Windsor. I know you weren't in the exact same grade as William and Harry. It seems like everybody's got to be somebody at Eton. But what do you remember about those days and, and, and those young men? Well, listen, I think Eton does attract the sons of all sorts of uh, famous families, uh, Harry's family, chief among them. But importantly, at school, you know, he wasn't Prince Harry. He was just Harry mm. Wales. Same opportunities as the rest of us. And I think that was quite refreshing uh, for him. And, you know, I would say as well, it's a full-time boarding school, so there's lots of downtime to fill. And it's mm -hmm. fair to say he was fairly mischievous during that downtime, but more importantly, you know, 1,300 boys is a very competitive environment. The guys that rise to the top are those that are really friendly, make lots of pals for life, they're good at sport, they're competitive, and it's fair to say he, he did all of that. All right, Wilfred, thank you. Thanks for the insight. We appreciate it. My thank pleasure. You. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.